We've been back home in South Africa for just over a month, and it's time to hit the road again. Sarah and Marek, a South African couple who set out to travel as far and wide as our tight budget could take us. After spending almost a year and a half having some crazy adventures all across Europe, we've finally come home and we're ready for our first adventure. in South Africa do you stop at a petrol station and there's wildlife grazing right where we're sitting. It's amazing. So we've been in South Africa for six weeks already and Sarah and I have actually spent most of that time apart. She was in Durban and I was back in East London but luckily just a few days ago we managed to come together again for a very special reason. And that reason was the main reason we came home in the first place. It was my sister's wedding just yesterday. It was so beautiful. It was amazing to be here. We're so happy we came. But now you're probably wondering what's next for us? What have we got planned? So we'll tell you. So we feel like we've come back into South Africa and we've got a new set of eyes almost. And we realized that we spent all of this time, a year and four months already, promoting tourism in other countries. But we actually haven't done that in our own country, for our own people. South Africa has been hit so hard by the pandemic because tourism is actually one of the biggest incomes for our country. And being hit so hard by the pandemic means that tourists aren't coming into the country, meaning no direct income for many of the locals. So we really would like to spend some time traveling around the country, go out into communities, tell stories, and just help as many people as we can. Now we don't necessarily know how to go about it, but we'll figure it out. This trip is a start at promoting some beautiful provinces in South Africa. Today we're traveling from Durban to Johannesburg and it's getting a little bit late, so we've got to go. It is quarter to 10. We're supposed to arrive at seven. It's been a long day. But we are really excited for tomorrow. Good night. We have been looking forward to this trip for four months. And I actually can't believe we're about to drive there and pick something up. This place opened an hour ago. So we could have gone and collected this thing a full hour ago, but instead we're just kind of sitting here in a random mall's parking lot because we're really nervous. Like really excited, but equally as nervous. We've never done something like this before. It's pretty huge. It's a huge step for us and we're just really excited, but also it's a bit scary. <laughs> Okay, we're going for real this time. Let's do this. Locked into the GPS. <laughs> we're going. In 300 meters, your destination will be on the left. Oh! See ya. Your destination is on the left. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yo. I think that's it. Oh my goodness, Marek! It is massive! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't good. believe we're here! figured it out by now. We are doing van life in South Africa for a full 10 days and we're going to two provinces. <laughs> we're going to two provinces that we have never been to before namely Mpumalanga and Limpopo. This is luxurious. 
honestly. All I'm gonna say is we have a car full, not full, but we have pots, pans, plates, bowls, all plastic and like camping friendly because we thought we'd need to bring all this stuff. There are wine glasses, there is a kettle, there's even a toaster. cereal bowls, there's plates, there's salt and pepper thingies, there's mugs. Don't even joke, is that a little thing for pouring milk? No. Yes, because there's everything. There's a list of everything that's in here, but now we just need to check everything and sign that the stuff will come back. Stock take, basically. Stock take, yeah. Okay, so it's been a little bit crazy up until now. It's a very long process, lots of paperwork, lots of explaining, because this thing is, it's intense. There's batteries, there's gas bottles, there's geezers, there's a stove. They have to explain everything to you and make sure that you understand it fully before we take off. It's not just a really jump in and go type thing. You have to understand what you're getting into. But we will still give you a full tour. Just need to transfer our bags, get everything ready, and then go and head to our first stop for our van life trip. In a few minutes time, we get to drive this thing away. Like we are taking it. What the heck? Thank you very much. You're all good, sir. All right. Thank Thanks you. Let's just have an awesome trip. Thank you. Enjoy as well. Thank and you very much. Again. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. It's ours now. It's ours. All ours. This is town. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Here we go. How do you feel? This thing's huge. Like, look at this. We have a toilet. You can use a toilet while we're driving. Yeah? You can go and make some food if you want while we're driving. You feel powerful. Because <laughs> this thing's huge. You feel pretty powerful. We are moving. I actually can't believe what we're doing right now. I've said to Marek moments ago, like, this just feels like a dream. It doesn't feel real. Partly, probably, because it's a mess back there. So we haven't actually set anything up properly yet. But it just took a while to get going because they struggled to figure out if our electrical sockets were working in the vehicle. Turns out everything was fine. It just took a while for us to get going. We arrived at like 20 past nine and only left at like 12. But we're moving, we're going, we're on our way to Dolls Room and when we get there, we will set everything up. We're just sitting here and thinking the best part of this whole experience is that we've had to do nothing to get here. We literally rocked up there a few hours ago, put in our stuff and away we're going. We're getting to experience proper van life without the mission of having to buy a van, convert it, make sure that everything's working. We get the convenience of just getting in and going. Because we've always been talking and like discussing, is van life for us? Would we enjoy it? And now we get the chance to experience it and see if we would enjoy it and see if it's something that we would like to do one day without the hassle of having to go through months and months of work. It's incredible. That's our first little stop. We're a bit hungry. And the convenience of having a van is that we don't have to go into the shop to get food. We can make it inside. Oi. <laughs> what was that too much? Mm, too much peanut butter? Yeah, <laughs> Close is that right? I need to remember to close. Look, the weather's really not giving us a great start to them.
back to the car. Just started coming down. So I guess we're not really going to be exploring outside today, unfortunately. I'm just thinking like it's raining, it's cold, the sun's going down. And usually if we were camping, it would be like, oh. I have to set up in the rain. It's going to get dark soon. We're going to have to blow up mattresses, but we don't have to do anything. We just park and we're done. Yeah, it is a bit messy in the back, but we're ready. We've come ready. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Oh no, is it tangled? <laughs> this is not the time to be detangling. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh no. What? Is it done? That's our first day of van life, like van life in South Africa. Something we've been working towards for four months already. And we are here in the night of our first day of the trip. It's incredible. We had a few problems here and there, you know, still figuring out all the kinks of the van, but it could not have gone any better. This is a fantastic way to see the country. Absolutely incredible. Tomorrow we'll be going into Dolstrom. We didn't show you too much of the town because it's so quirky. There are so many things to do. We just want to go walk through the town and take you all along with us. And show us a town that we knew absolutely nothing about before coming here. You want to add anything? No, you did a pretty fantastic job yeah. there. Sheesh. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> and we'll see you in part two of Van Life, South Africa. I should stop saying that so much. Of the van trip. <laughs> see you in the next one. Marek's just gone to move our car to the designated parking spot. We've just managed to get everything in here. It's chaotic. <laughs> it's a little bit messy already, but that's the beginning. That's where you start. Oh, what am I even saying? Bombs, what am I even saying? I'm distracting. Look, the weather's really not giving us Look. a great start <laughs> to Van Lab. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Austin thought. <laughs>